Welcome to Mini X. My name's Susie, and today, as you can see, I've pulled out some resin. I have got four ounces of A, four ounces of B. I'm going to be making some things. I'm also going to be testing out some of my new Rolio pastel mica powders. And the best way I could think to do it is to make my Mancala pieces for my Mancala game, and because that'll have lots of different colors. So let's get started. So come along with me, Susie Q. Hey. Okay, I am gonna put three ounces and two ounces. There's no ounces on here. How am I supposed to know two ounces and three ounces? I have five ounces of resin and I need to split it between three ounces and two ounces and all my measuring is in milliliters. So I am gonna have to check with uh, Google. How many milliliters in three ounce? So that's 90 milliliters. And what is two ounces? 60. 90 and 60, those two together will make five ounces. Oh my goodness, I feel so silly. Everything I have is marked in ounces on how big it is. How, how, uh, what the volume is, how much resin I need. Twilight Silver. And these are the mica powders I'm going to put in little pipettes. I'll start with the light ones and work my way up. Because I really want to see them, what they look like. And these are called the Pastel Collection. And guess what? I found my brown mica powder in this pastel collection. So excited. Now and in a few minutes, but how am I gonna mix up these mica powders? I think I can only do so many at a time because there's only 24 of these and I can't imagine just doing one at a time. So I'm just pulling out some random, trying not to get the same shades of these beautiful pastel micas out. And I went down in my uh, miniature craft room and I found these little tiny solo cups. So I thought I'll put like a half an ounce of, in each one and mix a half a teaspoon of mica powder in. And, and I didn't realize how long and arduous this process was going to be but I did have patience at one point and then I lost my patience and, and went a little too fast and then I got patience again I'll, f I'll find my way I'll find my way <laughs> but I got them all mixed up and unfortunately I broke every popsicle stick in half and each one got its own popsicle stick there was no need I could have just used the same popsicle stick and wiped it off. I, I learn things the hard way sometimes. <laughs> this is a snowflake white mica powder. It's hard to stir up on top of all these other ones. I don't want to mess them up. Huh? Nice and creamy white. Should I try to just dribble them in one by one? I like what two of each. I don't think this is the best mold to start with because it's so hard to pour into. I might have to fast forward this. Did you see that? That's that static cling, man. It's they repelled the mica powder and make it swirl all around. See, I knew mica powders and resins had a mind of its own. <laughs> I think I need maybe a tray. It's gonna have all these extras that. You like the brown. Okay. 
now I got some white. I don't want white to overpower, but that seems to be the color that I have over here. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea. Because it weren't. <laughs> so this is just some of the pastel micas I got from Rolio. And let me tell you how much I'm liking them. Maybe not the idea of doing it this way. But I will try to clean that up because I don't want all that extra. So this is my second wave of making the Mancala pieces using nine more colors from the Rolio. Uh, I'm just going to speed through this and I'll show them all at the end. I'm also adding all these colors to the second layer of my tray as well. So this is how the second layer looks. I'm not going to add another layer of resin because it's a because it's a very thick tray anyway. Or should I? Well, actually, I'm not because I don't have any more resin. So I'm going to demold this. The second layer looks really cute. I made all the designs like flower designs, but it didn't matter with mica. Came out so pretty. What is on here? Something came. Oh, something came off. And there are a few bubbles on here. I've never had bubbles on this before. I've never had bubbles on this part of the tray before. And there are no bubbles. There's one bubble here. Okay. Well, that's okay. It still looks pretty cool. And these are how they look in the tray. There's a lot of pastel colors. I love this pastel. And there's my brown. I've been looking for brown mica powder, and now I found it. Now, I know that if I pour resin on top, it'll fill in the holes. But will it look like there's still bubbles? I don't know that part yet. And I'm going to trim up the edge a little bit. I don't know if this will be burning or work while it's just gooey. No, I'll wait. Oh wait. But yeah, it's a, still a good tray, good thickness of a tray. Now let's, I'm going to start to show you what I did with each of these pieces as I glued it to the top so I can see them. So this is Palo on Teal, Fur Buds Green. Warnet blue. Can you see them or is it glare? Oh, I like this color. Blush. There's my brown. Does that not look like a chocolate M&M? &M? Hey, if I had an M stamp, I could, I could these would look same size as Skittles or M&Ms. Um, Crocus Iris. Lemon cream, and I just put a little tacky glue on there, so that's how I'm going to put them away so I can just see them. Twilight Silver. Mm -mm -mm. Tuscan Sun. Let me get the other bottles out. Adventure Green. Berry Sherbet. Cantaloupe Orange, Blue Dragonfly, Nightshade, hmm. White Gold, no, Wheat Gold, not Wheat Gold, California Poppy, Olive, it says Olive Gold, it is more olive huh? Olive -y. Cyan Rock Candy. Ooh. 
And I only have a few left that I'm not showing. It's because I ran out of resin. So I have not made the caramel. All salmon pink, sweet rose. So many beautiful pastels. Nude peach. Ice crystals. And snowflake. When I get my resin in, I'll make some more. So this is this line of these beautiful pastel micas, and I really like them a lot. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Na, na, hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. So come along with me. Said I'm Susie Q.